uh, let me just say this too about the whole brotherly shove, the tush push, all of that. Right. Any talk about outlawing that in the rule book is one of the biggest cowards' ways out of a pro- stop it. Stop it. Change no rules. Change no rules. The Eagles got something. Let them do it. They're not breaking any rules. They, they stop it. If someone can go out and stop that, stop that. But Sirianni literally calls a game differently than everyone else because he knows that third and short is a two-play scenario because you're always going to go for it on fourth and one with the Jalen Hurts squatting 800 pounds behind the best offensive line in football getting shoved in the back. Like anyone who says that that play needs to be outlawed, you're a bitch. I mean, I mean it. I really mean well, it. Well, I mean, first of all, the NFL before it's a sport is a TV show. And if some team at some point figures out a way to have the right combination of factors and only did that play, they would outlaw it because it's terrible TV. It like imagine imagine Damon because and think about it this way. What what's the advantage of that play? You get you get a first push but then you get a second push and sometimes you get a third push. So what happens if on those three pushes you averaged four yards? So it's first and 10. Now it's second and six. Now it's third and two. Now it's first and 10, second and six, third and two. And what if a team literally pushed, you know, did that tush push the entire length of the field I played I, ball honestly, control. I'm not going to lie. I, I'd, I'd, I'd have the football hard on. I, I, I wouldn't. And, no, I and, would. the, and the I would. ratings would, would be a disaster because it's telling? terrible ball. It's terrible ball to watch. So in a, so sport, that, well, that's all I'm saying in the, in the grand scheme of things, if you took away all passing, all artistry, all athleticism, and just had some sumo wrestler push, type situation where you just had the biggest, strongest, fattest guys and you got some quarterback and everybody pushed everybody. The sport would not have the ratings that it has. It wouldn't have the revenue that it has and they would outlaw it. That's All right. So here's what I would say as a head coach, shut up. I'm not here to win a beauty pageant. I'm here to win football games. And if you're telling me I have the most, I have the equivalent of the football version of a sky hook from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I'm not going to stop shooting it. Oh, but it's not aesthetic. Go yourself. I um, know, but I mean, it's like baseballs. Do you like? Do you like the? Are you a big fan of the shift? Do you like the? Do you like the line drive off the bat of your best hitter that lands in medium right field? That's one hopped by a second baseman who throws him out at first, or do you want to see that ball go to the fence and maybe a guy get a triple? I mean, I want to see the guy hit the other way. Learn how to have an at bat. Okay. That hit where they ain't. You know, that's a thing. Like, that's that's but, one thing. By the way, you want to talk another place where the San Francisco Giants got caught flat-footed when they outlawed the shift? It changed all of the mathematical equations that Farhan had, and he never even thought of that. Like, his his math was based around beating shifts, and when the shift became outlawed, I think it changed an equation, and, and that's another place where Farhan got caught flat-footed in the athletic revolution, but we're not doing Giants baseball well, like, right you know, what? It, I mean, my point is, what if you took away all corners, all athletes, and you just had 11, 11 Michael Carters out there, 11 centers? You know, you had 10 centers and a, and a soup, and, and J.P. Mason is your, is your quarterback. I have 11 centers in J.P. Mason. Oh, really? My defense is 10 Jerry Balls and, um, and uh, nice you know. Nice Jerry Ball reference. Nice <laughs> Jerry Ball reference. You know what Go I mean? Lions. I've, I've got, you know, I've got the night. I've got 11, you know, guys that look like Tony Saragusa. Doesn't and we're all just going to. One ass cheek and three toes. I will beat your ass. <laughs> I'm just saying it, it's, there is some limits to it, but I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. And I don't, I don't, I'm not saying outlaw it, but I'm just saying if you carried it to its logical conclusion, if it had, because we're seeing some of those plays, some of those tush push rugby scrum, I call it the rugby scrum. If some of those rugby scrum plays are producing four or five yards, that's not good. I don't know if that's a good thing. I really Fish don't. Chip says, are the Eagles just playing for nine yards? Then it's push city. They should be. They are. They should be. Yes. Yes. That is a that is a 
strategic advantage that they have over the entire league, why should the league have to change its rules to stop an advantage a team has when football's history is the way you take away a team's advantage is by beating it, you know, putting them in a situation. How about this? You know the good way to stop the put the tush push? Don't let the Eagles see fourth and short. You yeah. know, how, how come we're only blaming that one play? What about no, the no, three no, plays totally, before totally. It? You know, like right. I don't like outlawing strategy that works. Well, I, I would I would like to see the Niners use it actually. Yes. More. I'd like it, to see them and 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 what I'd like to see is put take, you know, Purdy off the field, let Hughes check or McCaffrey be the quarterback and get your get for your backup offensive lineman get Feliciano and and Zakel in the backfield as the running backs and snap it to Hughes check and just run run up the middle you got Banks and Burford or big guys uh you know Brendel and just 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 try it I like to see the Niners go for it more on fourth down than they do I really well, would and, and, I, think and, I think that's the future. If they had a, a play that worked at about 98%, I'm sure they'd run it. You know, by the way, remember Jimmy Garoppolo was great on quarterback sneaks. I don't remember anyone saying ban Garoppolo quarterback sneaking the ball. Well, effective no, nobody's saying push ban push. it. What if that's all they did? What if there was no Debo? There is no Ayuk. It's just seriously. If it were the worse. best way for them to win the game, I wouldn't hold it against them for playing <laughs> I mean, it like would, that. It'd be a terrible show, though. It'd be a right, terrible but, show. But did you win? And if every team in the league did it, it would kill the league's popularity. You, you know that. So they can't do it. They got to. Oh, they got to. Well, they, well you you're know, extreme. You imagine an entire. Every play we every, run, the push push is a little bit of an extreme in its, in its no, own. Way. I know, but but think about it. If it. It's also very safe. There's no potential for interceptions. Um, well, and the you're... Giants got two offensive linemen hurt on the same play just a couple weeks ago. So how safe it is, I guess, is to be determined. But uh, look, but I... as far as turnovers go, it's pretty safe. And if and if it did produce four yards, why the hell not? If so you had you just you literally just described the first eighty years of Big Ten football, and I'm a Big Ten guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm exactly. good with it. Bo Beckler just is like, hey. I like that, man. It's a four yards I, in a cloud of dust. It, a butthead says it's an unstoppable play. It absolutely is. You know what's good? the only thing that would stop it? And the only thing I think, what would be the answer to it? If if it became in vogue, you know what would be the answer? They're going to blow the whistle after the first surge, which is, let's be honest about this. Forward they progress. They should blow the whistle after the first surge. You shouldn't be able to get a first surge. And then a second surge. Then it, you know what it becomes like? It becomes like the old superstars competition on ABC, the tug of war. Have you ever seen people at a like an office picnic doing a tug of war? Yes. It's like, oh, we got the first one. Now we're gonna here we go again. We're gonna pull a little bit. You know, it's just it's just you know. Hey, it's a sellout play from the offense standpoint. The only way you're gonna you're gonna stop an entire offense is selling out to do it is to have the Mike Singletary wide-eyed leaping over the pile timed perfectly with the snap to go helmet to helmet collision with the quarterback before he even backs away from the center. Like you got to sell out to stop that play. You got to sacrifice your body to do it and you're exposing yourself to trickeration should, you know, they actually ever pull one out. Here's the thing. They're going to line up for a tush push, and they're going to hit a tackle eligible one day. You watch it. Sirianni's cooking well, it up, man. You know, the Niners blew their opportunity. They they were going against Philly. They had lost all their quarterbacks. They should have gone tush push in, in that playoff game as a practice. Just, guys, we're not going to call any more plays. We're just going to go McCaffrey at quarterback, tush push, on first down, second down, third down, and fourth down, and see if we can get 10 yards. And if it worked, could you imagine if they had beaten the Eagles in Philly going nothing but tush push? That would have been that would have been the most epic playoff story ever. Ever. Oh, so it goes from being bad for TV to the most epic playoff story ever. But I'm just saying your team does it. It would be fun. It would be fun to experience. But overall, since the NFL is a TV show, sure, 
they'd cancel it. They'd figure out a way to. I they'd, mean, they'd halt forward they're progress. Sure. They blow the whistle sooner. You know, be that the, kind of you know what you know what this conversation reminds me of is. How come you don't have a sumo is in the goalie? Why don't you just get a sumo goalie? The man's bigger than the net, and you you just can't get scored upon unless you give it up in the five hole. 